Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one-off tutorial, we're trying to see how to work with a very nice package called PipX, right? PipX. So PipX is a very nice package that allows you to be able to install and run any Python application or Python CLI in an isolated environment. So any particular application or CLI that has an entry point, most CLIs have an entry point when you design it for the console script, right? You can run and install with pips very very interesting so let's see how to install it let's see how to work with it so first of all to install just go with pip python 3 right it's supported from python 3 dash m pip install this option right that is how to install it or you can use this option to install it in case you don't want to use the user so let's try it out so i'll just copy it from here then you install it on our system i'll come back to my item now then let's paste it and install so that is how to install pip x right very very interesting very simple so apart from that, you can also install it without the user and it's also going to work perfectly for us. So that is installing it perfectly. Then you can see that it's also it's having some packages like click and then some other packages that is it's, it's working on. Perfect. Now let's see the next step. So after doing it, you just go with the option, the second option, which is going to be the ensure part to make sure that it is in your part. So just go with Python 3-M, Pipes ensure part. So that it will be added to your part. So let's try that one out. It's going to make sure that it is in, in your part, right? Very interesting. Perfect. So this is where it's going to be. So every virtual environment will be created inside this particular local bin directory. Perfect. So let's see how to work with it. So I go with pip s. It's going to list it perfectly for me. List the various functions, the various commands, the various stuff we can do with it. So this is how it looks like. So it's going to tell you where the virtual environment is going to be created very interesting and then it's going to create an isolated environment in which anytime you run an application it's going to be stored in a particular isolated environment so these are the various things you can do with it you can install a package you can upgrade you can inject you can only install a package you can only install all packages you can list packages you can run them so let's see an example so let's come back here and let's see how to work with it so if i go back to pip x list I've already installed some packages already, so it's going to list all the packages that I've installed, all the applications, rather, all the CLI applications I've installed. So I have PyCalc, I have Domain Gestry, I have Kobe CLI, right? So that is how to install it perfectly in your system. So to install another package, package just go with pip s, install, then the name of the package that you want to install, right? So let's say I want to install Radon. So Radon is a CLI for static code analysis. So if I go with pip install Radon, it's going to install Radon in a virtual environment for us. So we'll see that it's installing perfectly for us in a very nice and simple format. So perfect. So that's finished installing perfectly for us. So now if I come back here and I go with pip list, I'm going to list it perfectly for us together with it. We're going to list the new installed package so that Radon is here, right? That is how to install a package with pipx. Very, very interesting. Now to run a particular package, let's say I want to run pi cause, right? I can just go with the same option as this. So pi cause that's going to run perfectly for us so in an isolated environment very simple and very interesting that is how to work with it so in case i also want to uninstall a pack particular package i can just go with the same option so i have my packages here pips list i want to uninstall a particular package so let's say i want to uninstall radon right i want to uninstall radon from it which is let's check what radon has to offer us so radon that does help so radon is a very nice package for doing analysis so in case i want to uninstall radon can also do with the same option by going with this pips uninstall radon it's going to uninstall radon from this place for us let us taking it off now if i check it back again with this option it's no more there right so radon has been uninstalled perfectly very very nice and very interesting so that is how to work with pips so another thing you can also do is you can also run a particular package right if you have a package that you want you don't want to install it in an isolated environment but you want to run it temporarily you can also use pip pips run right so if i go with pips run i can supply a particular package so let's try with and uh, let's uninstall this package so pip s uninstall pi cause right you are installing it and then you run it separately so let's run it so pip pips run pi cow c and i can just put in any stuff there so let's say move right if i go with this it's going to automatically run it perfectly without installing it 
I've already installed it. It's going to work. If I check the pip list, you can see that it's not there. The PyCal is not there, but I can run it perfectly. So that is not the only just three domain just run COVID CLI. Then if I run it again, it's still working. Although it's not installed on the system. Very, very cool and very nice. That is not the only thing. You can also run a CLI from a faraway package. So let's say I have this particular CLI here, which is Temipad, right? So I copy this particular CLI, copy this one from, from GitHub, from any URL, and also run it from here. So I can just go with this option. So, so pip is run, then I supply the direct link to that particular URL. I've not installed it, but it's going to run it perfectly for us. So it's taking some time. It's going to go to that website and then you can see that it's working perfectly. Very, very cool and very, very nice. All of them in a temporal environment. Very, very interesting and very nice. That is some cool stuff you can also do with Pi. Pipes, right? Pipes. So let's try another example. So this one was not installed though. So let's take it off and then let's run it again. So I can just go back to this option. Uninstall COVID CLI. Right, the CLI that we built previously. Then I can only install it and then we can just go back to my GitHub pause it's installed. I'll go back to my GitHub repository and then get the newest version, which I have not which is not on PyPy yet, right? So we go to the newest CLI, the newest version, then with some cool features, then we run it perfectly. So if I come back to the newest CLI, the newest version, this is version five, right? 0.15, which is not updated yet. It's an updated version, but it's not been uploaded to PyPy. Can just copy it from here. Copy this particular URL. Come back here. Right, it is has been used only installed. If I go with pip s list, it is not there, right? But I can run it from a URL. Very, very interesting, very cool, right? So that it's not there, only one package is there. Then I can just go with pip s, pip s run the URL is going to run it perfectly for us so that is something very cool and something very nice so it's going to the url make sure that you have internet connection it's going to check it perfectly for us perfect so, so that's gone for it for us so i can actually run it from here so this the same thing i can just go with the help just as we saw the help here this was the help right so let me reduce it this was the help in case i want to get something like let's say i want to get info right Let's say get top. It's also going to run it perfectly for us, right? I've not installed it, but it will go to the URL and fetch it perfectly for us in a very nice and very cool way. Right, so something very interesting. So let's stop it. Let me close it off and then let's do some other stuff. So in case you also want to upgrade all the packages that you have. So if I go back to my papers list and I have some packages, I want to upgrade them, right? I can also do the same thing by going with the simple simple uh, upgrade. So if I go with upgrade, it's going to upgrade, can upgrade a single package or you can upgrade all the packages there, right? So it's going to check and see if there is an upgrade for us. Perfect. So that is how to upgrade it, right? Pip upgrade or to upgrade all, or pip upgrade a single one. So it's going to check and upgrade it if there is an upgrade for it. Very, very interesting and very simple. So that is the basic idea about pip pipex so thank you for watching this long tutorial or this short tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe and check the link below for some interesting materials i mean tools to help you master machine learning python and then several other things thank you and stay blessed bye so that new versions were changed because this has not been updated so thank you for watching stay blessed bye